Hi everyone, this is Rosie and welcome to my studio where we can explore creativity together. Today I'd like to do a little tutorial for you that will teach you how to share your projects in Design Space. Cricut does have some rules about sharing Design Space files and it says in Design Space any canvas with uploaded images is considered a private canvas, i.e. the canvas URL cannot be shared. So what that's saying is if you've created a project in Design Space and you have uploaded an image or a file from some of the source, like say you've purchased an SVG file, that file, that Design Space project that you've created is not shareable because you are using an outside file that's been purchased. It's someone else's property. So the first thing that you need to do to log into Design Space is to log into your Cricut account. If you don't already have one, you can create an account right here. Just follow the on-screen instructions. So I'm going to log in. So now I need to find my project in Design Space. So if I look over here where it says My Projects, there's a link that says View All. I click on View All and I find my project that I want to share. The project that I want to share is right over here and what I need to do is click right here on this arrow where it says share and it asks me to add more details. So I click on the add details button and my project comes up with information. Now the first thing that I want to do is add some photos so I can go over here and click on this little plus sign that will allow me to upload pictures and my pictures are on my desktop and this is the first one that I want to choose and I can click choose and I want to add another one so now I'm going to choose this one here click choose and now I want to add one more and click choose again. Now if I decided that I didn't like the order that I have the pictures in, I can simply click on one and drag it over to where I would like it to be and they will reverse. And if you need any help uploading your pictures, there is a little link right here that says need photo tips. You can click on there and it will give you all kinds of information about your photographs. So let's get out of that. And another thing you want to make sure of is that this little toggle switch is switched to on so that the project is visible to other people in the community. And then you'll want to give your project a name. I have my project named right there. And over here, you can give a little description of it. So here I've filled in my description and I'm done. And all I need to do is save. And then it comes up with a screen. I have two options. I can save it to Facebook or Pinterest. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to Facebook. And I'm going to share it to a group, which is Cricut. Everyday Maker. And then down over here, I say post to Facebook. And then it comes up with the screen again, and it allows me now to share it on Pinterest. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to save it to my little board that says Cricut Maker on here. Okay. And that's basically it. Here is the design space file that I shared to my Facebook page. If someone comes onto my page and clicks on my post, it will bring them into design space and call it the file. And then they can go down here and hit make it. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Remember, you can only share projects that you have completely made using images and shapes and text and whatever that you've 
um, found in Cricut Design Space. If your file has anything that you've uploaded from another source, you cannot share your file. So we're done. I hope that this was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe.